Growing unity, resources for living, is like dropping a pebble into a body of water. Its impact has gone far beyond the splash. You will hear from two individuals on the front line talk about the rippling impact of resources for living, not only impacting those who attended the event, but spreading to those who were not at the event. Think about the impact of a second, third, or even fourth one-stop shopping. There's no way of telling where the end is going to be across the greater Houston area, the region, the state, and maybe even the nation. So again, please listen closely to what Deanna and Liv have to say regarding the impact of resources for living, having not only on the parents, students, teachers, and staff of Pilgrim Academy, but the community at large. Hi, my name is Diana Castillo, and I'm the principal at Pilgrim Academy. Good afternoon, Ms. Castillo. So I wanted to talk to you today about our Resources for Living initiative here in the community, and you are the principal of the school, Pilgrim Academy. So I kind of wanted to ask you, you know, starting in August, we started off with some of the uh, programs that we had in our area, including our Resources for Life uh, health fair. So what kind of benefits did you start to see uh, after that August event? Well, I think something that was very important um, that really intrigued me was the efforts that Unity uh, were doing to try to have more of a comprehensive approach to the needs of uh, the community, which includes the Pilgrim Academy uh, parents. Um, I started to see that parents had resources that weren't just a one-shot deal. You know, we here at the school um, that we're very fortunate to, to have an outstanding um, group of individuals that professionals that work with our kids. But, you know, there are some limitations that we have. And uh, whereas with the, the initiative, Resource for Living initiative, their approach is more, you know, where there's um, follow through some, you know, continuity of, you know, um, resources for them. Awesome. All right. And so I also want to ask you, so now that through the school and through the church, we basically developed a, a kind of a center here for wraparound resources um, for our students and parents in the community. And how does that make you feel now that we basically created a hub for people to come in and, and search for these things? I think it's great. I think our parents are able to reach out to uh, other groups and um, they can really see, you know, uh, their questions being answered and this specifically, you know, regarding health, but also other things. And um, since there is such a strong relationship between Unity and Pilgrim Academy, um, the professionals here at our campus know that they have uh, support that they can go to or resources that they can go to uh, at Unity. My name is Elizabeth Perez. I'm the school nurse for Pilgrim Academy. And I am very pleased that we have this um, chance to uh, have a bonding with Pilgrim along with Unity uh, to benefit our families. Um, our families usually stay real close to the school and don't travel too far and are rather afraid to travel too far. Um, not knowing the area. So a one source, uh, one stop shop, basically one place where they can get resources, where they can get information, where they can be educated as far as health, um, receive immunizations, receive different types of uh, screenings and, and help basically everything from litigation help to how to ride a bus, um, where is it that they need to go to to uh, find other resources all at one place is a, a very big benefit to us in the community and to most of our families here at Pilgrim. We have, be, we have uh, learned that uh, Unity is here for our community and strives to work together with our school to ensure that the health and safety of our families is a uh, number one priority as it is for us. Awesome, thank you. And I also wanted to ask you, you know, um, starting with the Resources for, uh, for Living initiative that began in August. And, uh, you know, after that event, 
which started before schools began. And then after it uh, happened, was there any kind of impact that you saw on some of the families that were coming in? Yes, the impact it impacted our families significantly to the point where now, like I said, they have resources, they have places to go, they know where to go, they know how to get that information um, if they don't receive it at that one once time um, health fair or fair, um, they didn't receive it then, they know how to seek and how to find it on their own. Um, they also were able to spread it to other families. I have had uh, students come back where they have actually been to some of these clinics, either eye clinic, dental clinic, vision clinics, um, some of the clinics that are um, multifaceted clinics, and they've come back and said that they received this information through Unity and the partners at Unity uh, to be able to take care of their own healthcare needs. And basically it was a stepping stone for them independently seeking medical attention. What we want to do is pull people out of the silos, especially the health in industry, to mingle with the banking industry, to mingle with other entities that are involved with the social determinants of health. If we don't do that, we won't solve the problem. Houston is probably the best site to do it because of our diversity and because we have some of the largest medical complexes in the world. If we can make it here, we can make it work anywhere.